Hello and welcome to this weekly look at the night sky where I go through what you can see and how you can see it. Each week I cover another constellation and tonight we'll have a look at Cancer, the Crab. The Crab is one of the more difficult constellations to see, as it has no bright stars and in fact if you're not under a dark sky, it's hard to see it at all. To find the crab, we need two of the constellations we have already covered, the lion and the twins. We have the head of the lion right here, and the heads of the twins right here. So roughly between these we should find the crab. Do you see it? It's hard to imagine that there should be anything there, right? Well, let's take a closer look. Between the two ovals, the heads of the lion and the twins, there is this little star called Iota Cancri. It is the tip of one of the front legs of the crab. The leg goes down to these two stars here, called the little donkeys. They are the front of the carapace, and you can look at these as the eyes of the crab. The rest of the carapace is then found here. We have another front leg going down here, and two other legs here. I realize that there are some legs missing here as well as the claws. We could make the front legs into claws like this, but that still leaves three pairs of legs missing. If you can see them, do let me know. There are a couple of open clusters in this constellation worth seeing. The first and most visible is called the Beehive Cluster, and can be found right behind the eyes inside the carapace. This one is just visible to the unaided eye and quite lovely in binoculars or a telescope. It consists of about a thousand stars and is about 600 million years old. The other open cluster has the designation M67. It is found to the right of the crab's lower front leg star, here. It consists of more than 500 stars and is far older than the beehive cluster between 3 and 5 billion years old. The age makes it one of the oldest open clusters we know of, and certainly the closest of the old open clusters. This makes it an exciting object to study, because it tells us a lot about the evolution of stars similar to our own Sun. That's it for tonight, I hope you enjoyed this video and if so, please give it a like and if you want to see more, click subscribe. I hope to see you next week and until then, clear skies.